Well, I learned something very fascinating that we talk about all the time. Why time flies faster as we age. Oh, God. We had the... Uh, a, a chapter, a, a chapter book in our book it. about so this. A new this study new? was published oh, wow. that, and research oh, to kind of suggest something about this. This um, year has gone faster than any year before in my entire it's life. It's horrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah, and I'm just like, I, I think I've said this on the podcast before, but like sometimes the only way for me to justify and feel happy about that is that like winter feels shorter. But that's like a really depressing. Winter is coming. Oh, here we go. Um, so physics may actually be the answer, and it has to do with the rate of speed that uh, information can travel on your neurons. So as you age, okay. your neurons develop and become bigger and bigger. So there's two elements. One is that the distance and length your neurons have to travel to process information is actually longer, they think. Wait, but as you is... age, your neurons, in theory, get longer? Yeah, so it says, um, they attribute Whoa. it to the phenomenon of physical changes in the aging human body. As tangled webs of nerves and neurons mature, they grow in size and complexity, leading to longer paths for signals to traverse. Oh, wow. As those paths then begin to age, they also degrade, giving more resistance to the flow of electrical signals. Meaning what? So ultimately, the end result is that when you're older, you can actually process fewer images in the same amount of time as you could when you're younger. So your brain's taking in less information oh, as a result. that slows down time. Because we, as we've talked yeah, less before, distinct like, memories. yeah, and novelty is, novelty seeking experience, like doing something novel slows down time because your brain like, has to like build, work in different ways. Yeah, neurons build connections. It's for why that, yeah. when you're walking somewhere, it often feels like it takes longer than when you walk home from that place. Because when you're walking there, your brain is hyper aware of where you are, the directions, the new mm. smells, the new things around you. And it actually slows down your perception of time. But when you're walking home, you've seen it all before and your brain is working less mm. hard. So this is kind of adding to like, this isn't des- necessarily like the one and only thing. Obviously oh perspective gosh. on time is a big one as well. Like when you're younger, one year of your life is like, the whole life, but now one year of our life is just a small little smidgen. Um, oh but my yeah, gosh, it, so I mean, scary. It's, it's nice and sad in some ways. I'm like, oh, that's a bummer that like we just don't like in the same amount of like in a day, a kid just experiences so much than us, so much, so more. much more than us. Literally, they yeah, literally yeah. process more information. And that's kind of sad, but I saw some interesting discussions online of people being like, so if we were able to like slow down or stop or reverse the degradation of neurons, would that speed up and allow us to like feel like time slower? Yeah, than would it? Like, well, I mean, that was just like all my everyone's obsessed terms. with that, like with obsessed with how to not age. Like, yeah, there's so many interesting science. It's like okay, question: If you had a choice between two things, yeah. not aging like your outer body and the okay. way you looked, not aging your brain, which would you do? Not aging my brain, for sure. Okay, yeah, same. Yeah, okay, cool. But, like, wouldn't that also be, like, that's the hard part if your brain is perfectly fine and then your I'm so scared. Well, no, down. well, I mean, I'm going to die eventually. But I would rather, I'm so scared of my brain, like, going away. I'm so scared. Oh, my God, I'm okay, so scared. Okay, we'll get you. <sighs> existential crisis. 